going on, my friends? Cubs fan Han here for yet another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Happy Wednesday to you guys. We made it to the hump day. How does that feel, ladies and gentlemen? We have got the one, the only, it's just Ian joining us today. What's going on, Ian? What's going on, guys? How you doing? Dude, you have had a good week. I heard you had a crazy stream recently. Congratulations. Oh. Dude, it was unbelievable. I am still in shock. Oh Isn't gosh. the community amazing? They really are. Let's just start this video. Just go like this with me, Ian. For the community. We love you guys. We love you. Go sub to both of us. Sub to Cub, sub to Ian. <laughs> All right, so awesome. we got two things to talk about today. Um, number one, you had an awesome theory crafting video that I want to discuss. Um, if you guys haven't already seen it, I'll leave a link down below in the description. I would encourage you all to see it, but I want to talk about it a little bit on this channel because I think it's so cool. But also, we have got some interesting speculation here. We had these data mine packs that we've all been hearing about that are in the data mine. But one of them that interests me the most is this light speed bundle. And I'm seeing a lot of speculation that this could be hyperdrive bundle 2.0. Because uh -oh. it is using that word bundle. It is that's the only that's the only pack in here I think that is labeled as the light speed bundle. Everything else says bundle, yeah. but it's not in the title like hyperdrive bundle. So Ian, do you think this is just a shit pack or do you think this might be the next iteration of the hyperdrive? I would hope it was just a shit pack or it is just a shit pack, but Are you saying ship pack or are you saying shit pack? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just clarifying. Yeah, yeah. Clarify that it's a ship pack, not a another one. P. Man, dude, Hard P. With a hard P. Hard P, okay. Clarifying the P, yeah, yeah. I say it's interchangeable, but you go ahead. What do you say? <laughs> yeah. The light, the light speed, man. We just, when was the, when we got the hyperdrive? Not even that long ago. Yeah, it hasn't it been that like, long. And now they're already coming out with a potential new one. That's just kind of insane to me. Um, at this rate, I mean, with the Galactic Legends, we already know it's very, very obvious that they're just milking us, or rather milking the whales, the spenders. Um, and I think this is just an addition or an, an add-on to that. Um, and I don't know. I'm well, not you, too sure how I feel about this. I'm not sure either, but I will say that it would make sense to me, a lot of sense if they did this, because I believe the Hyperdrive bundle was not just profitable, I think it was a smash hit. Uh, financially speaking. I mean, I I, did, I bought a hyperdrive bundle on a new account and my shard there's a, within a three day period for that shard There's well over a hundred people Dude, that bought the bundle no. the whales the, the new whales with the hyperdrive It is just so unfair for these newer players. For that uh, yeah, I feel terrible for them I, I feel yeah. bad and I'm, I'm falling behind really quick and it makes me wonder You know wouldn't they if, if somebody's okay with spending a hundred dollars to get ahead what if they have the next iteration of the bundle that builds on the first bundle? Bundles I mean, galore, what, what man. It could be in it, you know? It, it could be uh, the, pretty much the exact same thing, or it could be something a bit bigger. I, what I'm thinking, if they were to really do something a lot bigger than the hyperdrive, is throw in some like Gear 12, Gear Plus, or Gear 12 Plus pieces and also signal data. I think people would absolutely eat that up. Yeah. Absolutely. I would because eat that up. It, but... I, mean, I feel like the hyperdrive was more for like beginners. Yeah. Maybe this is for like really, really meant for these late game players. So, I, I, don't know. I would kind of hope that too for a lot of you guys that are spending, but I, I, I have a feeling it would be more geared towards those that bought the hyperdrive bundle. Here's yeah. the next step. Here's the here's the next the iteration. Next oh my gosh, dude! But yeah, don't get any ideas, CG. If you're here, go away. This is not giving you ideas. Delete, delete. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this composition here, Ian. I have to say, so one thing I've said about um, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is that theory crafting uh, has been dead for a long time. Uh, but thanks to our man, Wat Tambor, I feel like theory crafting has legitimate hope in this game. And this composition here, my man, this doesn't have a single character from the same faction. You've got Bounty Hunters, Sith, Empire, Wat Tambor, Separatist, and Rebels working together to take down the top meta team in this game. I'm going to play this footage. Now, this comes from your man, uh, Blade Baca, right? So, I know Blade Baca. Shout out to Blade Baca. He's always been yes. a great theory crafter for this game. Love that guy. So, tell me a little bit, Ian, uh, and tell the Cubs fam out there, why is this working? So, you, first and foremost, 
have to have Watt here for his tech. The tech without Watt here is just not going to work. You need that tank Fast tech Watt. on boss. Fast Zeta Watt. Watt. Here, yeah. Pretty, yeah, Z Watt with pretty much the opening or, yeah, opening move. You get that tank tech on boss. You right. Get the permanent for the rest of the battle. And, and then the weapon tech on Nihilus for every single t every single time a clone here or Anakin goes, he's getting 15% turn meter, which is huge. Um, mm. The third piece doesn't matter too much in this one. That's like a... I mean, just give it to Han pretty much because if, you know, you do get Rexilated by Rex, of course. I love that boss, term. <laughs> dude, it is so hot. It's it sounds hot dirty, right. like Rexilate. <laughs> it just it doesn't... It, does. <laughs> it sounds disrespectful, but anyway, go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but you want to you want to kind of, for that third piece, give it to Han just because if he does die to that, Annihilate, um, you can give that extra tank tech to your Thrawn just so you can Annihilate. Boom! Oh. Did you see that? Did you edit oh, that in? Gosh. I did. That edit was cracking me up earlier today. He specifically told me, if you're going to show this, you have to edit. Every Annihilate, that guy in. And you had him in for every Annihilate, didn't you? Every Annihilate, dude. Man, how good does that feel, though? So this is basically, looks to me like a big purpose of this combo is to create an environment where Nihilus can just rip gas down. It is insane. How many? I've never seen gas die before these clones. I actually, I'm going to be honest. I think I might may have seen the, the question asked uh, before. And so I think that information was deep within my brain. But I just, I forgot that that was a possibility that you could kill gas before any of the clones yeah. with Nihilus. It's, it's crazy. Well, the, the Annihilate works kind of different. It was kind of addressed um, when gas was released about Annihilate. Yeah, um, yeah, you can nightly straight up. <laughs> yeah, know? I think I think they clarified it, right? They, I, I remember yeah. that now, but I just I forgot about it. I just yeah, it wasn't it there. Was there. Yeah, you can annihilate, man, and, and it was. It's like one of these things that, like, yeah, we've had Watt, but like not a whole lot of people um, have really thought about these, you know, high the nihilist counters, you right? Know, and just annihilating gas. Um, I want to give another big shout to Darth Omega. <laughs> There's another one right there. Oh my god, Darth, Darth Omega. Omega. He is awesome about these three crafts, and he has. Oh I man, think, he's been spitting with, some game, dude. Like that that guy's theory crafting his brains out. Yeah, some fire, man. He he loves his Watt. Yeah. He not he doesn't just use you know Nihilus. He does everything, man. And I want to give a big, big shout to him. If you guys do not know who he is, you got to go check him out. Definitely. Yeah. I and I've made a couple videos about some of his stuff, and, and I agree, yeah. he's been making some great. Great videos yeah. there. So, all right. So it looks like you were showing that on Blade Bacchus channel. So you, you got another video yeah. here. Uh, this is one you recorded. Um, yeah. Now, when you did this, um, talk to me about relics and about yeah. mods. Um, how did you feel yes. those needed to be? Uh, some of these counters look fine and well, but at the end uh, of the day, if you don't have God tier mods, you're going to get ripped. Do you feel like this is kind of in that league? Um, do you need full Relic 7? Uh, t t talk to the Cubs fam a little bit about this. Yeah, I got you guys. So for this counter, I would say regarding speed and a lot of speed sets on anybody, the ones I would really only go for um, is uh, a few of them. And those those few, the, the, those three rather, for sure Han, or uh, Han, oh my gosh, for sure Thrawn, oh my gosh, guys. And and Watt, and then the third one I prioritize. Which you're Nihilus. probably already, you're probably already going to have speed sets, on, speed sets, <laughs> speed sets on your Thrawn and your uh, Watt. And so you said Nihilus speed too? Yeah, so the reason I would say you want Nihilus. That may be different modding. Pass, yeah. Yeah, a bit different. You you want him to be there you go. You, got another Nihilate. you want him to be kind of fast because yeah, you do get that tech with a TM gain, but you want to make sure that he can go maybe a little bit before any of or rather of all the clones, you know, first turns are, are uh, already been used because you still want to get some more AoEs off before anything kind of goes to, you know, kind of goes uh crazy because it can go crazy. I've had some that I have lost. Um, so that's Nihilus. Yeah, I would just say, you know, 260, 270 speed. Nihilus is totally fine here. The other guys, Rock okay. and Thrawn, you need some big boy speed. Big boy speed. Plus 150 yeah. kind of speed? I would say something like that, yeah. Because okay, so you do need pretty if, much god tier speed. Yes. Yeah. If you cannot outspeed the Anakin, you will lose. If you cannot get frags from Anakin, you will lose. If you're being competitive, um, though, I just want to I just want to point out, if you're being competitive in the late game against these teams, you should probably have a speed set or two like that. Yeah, yeah and, and another thing there is that people don't, when it comes to uh, modding, you know, Anakin and the Soul Fire first, not a whole lot of speed on any of those besides, of course, Rex. So, right. yeah, right there. We oh, got you got Rex elated. elated. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Save that tank, or don't give the rather the third piece to Thrawn so he has an empty, an empty spot for that tank tech. So, boom. We're swapping. Boom. Over. You're still going to get it. 
coming up. Yeah, yeah. you're still going to get that. Okay, uh, now relic priority. Where were your relics? So I only had a relic, or rather two relics on my Han, which is not really important. <laughs> Oh my god. I love how I you love do that, that every guy. time. You're committed. Every time. All right, so you had relics only on Han? Um, no, for Han and for Bach. That was it. Okay. Was it. So you can and get you away. And this is, I'm guessing these are full Relic 7 gas teams you're going against yeah. here? Relic 7 on, of course, gas. Uh, maybe Relic 5 up to Relic 7 on the clones. Yep. So to me, super notable that a team with only two relics is taking on a full Relic team. Well, you don't even need relics on Han. He is literally just here to stun Rex and then to give TM two fives from his double tap. Interesting. So you can get more, more tag. Yeah, because it's Nihilus. more about getting Nihilus set up to annihilate. Yeah, that's And it, so man. keeping Rex off balance so that that turn meter gain isn't there, the tenacity and isn't up. He's speed on him on Han. I mean, he can just be modded for, I guess, you know, maybe potency to land some stun on, mm. on to fives or, you know, survivability, you know, just a bunch of HP protection. You don't need him be, to be fast. So, so Bosk is going nice. to be probably the most essential relic on this team is what you're yeah. saying. And, and when I was running mine, he was only relic three, so nothing crazy, guys. Okay, yeah, he relic had three. Hundred like K protection too. Did Blaybok have more relics on him? It looks like his is a bit more beefy than yours. I think he had relic four. I could relic be four. Mistaken, though. That's yeah, not yeah. crazy. And you know what? A relic boss. There's <laughs> there it is again. The, the relic boss is not a bad investment outside of this. I have, having that that kind of relic, people are used to facing bounty hunters, but. Relic bounty hunters are different, and they can really catch oh, you off dude, guard. And some of those scary. normal counters that you're used to using, great in Grand Arena. So, um, well, there you go. And anything else yeah. you think the Cubs fam should know about this team as they uh, consider trying it out in either Grand Arena or Squad Arena? So, um, I think I think we're going to talk about another maybe potential team um, with clashes and big shot to clash again. I mean, there's something. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. So you're going to make another video yeah. with Clash Doe on a similar team that works. Yeah. Pretty much the exact copy of this. Don't but... tease me like this. Tell me everything you know. Just okay, kidding. Well, Make us wait. We'll, we'll watch it in your video. <laughs> dude, I'm just, just I'm so excited about these teams because this next one, um, it is so amazing for GAC because you can, because in this one, you guys can see, you have to use Bosk. If you can yeah. save Bosk for your bounty hunters, this next one, I'll give a hint. It has somebody named Stormtrooper Han in it. How? Stormtrooper and... Han! And that means you can save your boss for your bounty hunters on either GAC defense or Ooh. offense. Well, hey, so. call, call me interested. So look, guys, if you want to get over there for Ian's video on this with yeah. Clash DOE, you're going to need to subscribe to him. And so I got a link to the video we showed in this video down below. Go ahead and click on that video. And then while you're there, just hit that subscribe button. Um, and yes, if you sir. haven't subscribed to me, too, I mean, hey, you know, you're here already. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that subscribe button. So, Ian, always so fun to have you on the channel. Thanks so much for coming on and joining me today. Um, go, again, uh, check out that video coming up with Clash DOE. And then anything else yeah. you want to say to the Cubs fan before we end the video? You said it before, man. Three crafting is not dead, guys. It is pretty much how it's always been. Yeah, it's probably gotten a little bit tougher, but... Without Watt, have... maybe dead. But with Watt... Still alive. It'd be dang close to it. <laughs> well, I want to be pretty dang close. We should we should get a T-shirt made, a T-shirt that says "Theory Crafting is not dead" and it just has Watt Tambor there going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would buy that shirt, dude. I would have to buy that. Well, let's buy it. Let's do it. You and me. Let's create it. We're gonna make so much money up, making these shirts. I'll, I'll make some. I'll make some merch. I'll have that. I'll Who would buy that. the shirt? Let us know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for joining me for the video today, my friends. You guys are all awesome. Love you, Cubs fam, and as always, my brothers. Don't forget.